You're watching the Wellness Hour news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today, we're talking about smile makeovers using a new orthodontics. We're talking about Invisalign today. Uh, with us, we have an expert on the topic, and we're talking about what every parent needs to know about Invisalign or orthodontics, and what every adult needs to know about what's new. Uh, with us, we have Dr. Stephen Liao. Dr. Liao, welcome to the program. Thank you, thank you for having me here today. Now, you brought a lot of photos, so we're gonna to try to get to as many of those as possible. But for people that don't know your practice, like who's the typical kind of patient that's coming in for orthodontics? Yeah, I mean, we have a wide range of, uh, of patients coming in. So, um, so the main thing is I actually want to categorize in three segments of patients that comes in. So the first one is our, the teens, the teens, the parents that comes in with their, with their kids, and they want to give them the smiles for high school with middle schools, things like that. Okay. Um, then we got the second type of patients that comes in. These are patients who graduate college, they got their first job, and then um, you know they're looking at to enhance their professional. So they save up some money, and they wanna go through and, and, and just uh, straighten the teeth out. So they didn't like their teeth growing up. No, they didn't. And now didn't. they have enough money on their own to do it themselves. Absolutely, yeah. So there's a lot of that patients. going on? Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of the, uh, young professionals. Because you I have financing, them. right? People oh, yeah, are absolutely. financing this. Yes, we do. We do offer a different type of financing options for them. Okay. Um, then we got the third type of uh, patients are patients who are adult. They're in their careers already. And they're noticing whether it's relapse, Teeth are relapsing back, meaning that they cr got crowded. Maybe they have braces when they're young. Yeah. And teeth are actually going backward, and you know they're worried. So those are the type of patients that, uh, we see. So yes, I mean we cover a wide range, and uh, you know I'm excited every day. You know. Coming. Now, now we're talking about a little bit about Invisalign. Yes. Now you're you you lecture, you teach other dentists. Yes, absolutely. About Invisalign. Is there that much to it? Where you oh, have to yes. teach other dentists about it? Absolutely, there's so much to into it. I mean, these are technologies that's evolving over the years. So 10 years ago, you couldn't do everything with plastics or Invisalign in this case. Um, there are cases that you just can't pull the teeth down or, uh, or poor clients or retro clients will push the teeth outward uh, with that amount, amount of uh, corrections. But nowadays, we could do that. We could do that with clear trays, in this case, Invisalign. Now, you're one of the top providers yes. for Invisalign. Yes, we are. So is this turning into the most popular procedure or one Absolutely. of the most popular procedures? I mean, these are the newer procedure. I mean, they're virtually invisible. So when patient wears it, they can go on their life. They don't have to actually worry about people like looking at them like, oh, now you have bracket wires. Uh, it also, it, it, uh, it doesn't really interfere with their lifestyles. Okay. They can eat, drink, anything they want. Uh, workouts, not a problem. And the most important thing is they can actually brush the teeth. They can take the, the trays out and they can brush and floss the same way. As opposed to where you have bracket and wire, you can't do that. Now, yeah. You know, we talked on the phone and, and in my notes I remember saying, yeah. well, you're just straightening teeth. And it was like, uh, and I'm paraphrasing slightly, but you said it's more than just teeth. You said when you see these photos yeah. that I'm gonna bring, you're gonna see it's more than just teeth. Absolutely. And I looked at a few in the green room, and yeah, it changes their appearance. Yes. Just teeth. No, I, I mean, actually, it's, it's more than that. And when you touch the teeth, it's actually that the attitude changes. Now, really? When patients see their, their teeth, you know, the smiles, the change, it, it's a whole different animal. Is that right? Is now, that... you brought uh, some photos. Let's, let's start with a couple yeah, of photos. Yeah, absolutely. So I have this patient coming in. Okay. And her chief complaint is, I just don't want to smile. I don't like my teeth. I don't like the way I smile. And if you look at her smiled, uh, what do you see? Well, her teeth are very separated. Yeah, I mean, That's she's got to be unusual, right? This is not unusual. I mean, the reason you don't see it is because they don't smile. All right. So they don't smile, you don't know about it. So now, they walk around like this, people think that they're angry, they're mad, or they're even depressed. Because they never smile. Because they don't smile. It's not because they don't want to smile, they're conscious of it. They're conscious about their now, smile. Now, now, do you spot it? Like, could you tell people, as a dentist, can you spot who's hiding their smile? Absolutely. I mean, that's, that's a sense that I get. Uh, patient comes in, walk in the door, I sit in the chair. I come in, I introduce, introduce myself. That's the first thing I, I spot. I look at what the cue. Even in front on. of you, they don't want to show their teeth? No, they don't. And okay. they're embarrassed. And it, it's, it's part of it is because they're fear. They're fear of the unknown, what could happen. Okay. They're fear of me judging them, but I don't. Okay. So a person like this, okay, so she comes in, what are her options? Uh, if you look at this, options are not that much. I mean, you're talking about maybe crown bridges, maybe bracket and wire. But in this case, we choose to actually do it with Invisalign because she's conscious about her smile. So I, want, I don't want to put more 
pressure on her. So look at the before, and now look at the after. Yeah. Look at her smile. The smile changed. Look, her smile is bigger. Now even, you know. She looks more sophisticated almost. Absolutely, I mean, yes, she puts on makeup. Just teeth, Just the teeth, but yes, she puts on makeup, but look at the radiance of smiles. I mean, it's all totally two different person you're looking at it. In fact, with that, when she came in like that, she had a ring on her finger. I couldn't believe it. Okay. She got engaged. All right. Yeah. Did she tell you this? No, she didn't. Maybe her teeth have something to do with it, you think? I think so. Well, I think that it plays a big part to it. Um, and she may not realize, but you know, when you have a nice smile, the attitude changes. Okay. You, know, you walk differently. You know, your head is up and, and you smile more. And you know, when you see people that smile more, we are just gravitate towards that. All right. and that's, that's something that's human nature. We gravitate it's like towards- like charisma. Absolutely. With and smiling. in fact, you know, if you have parties or social gatherings, there's always one or two people that comes in and they become the life of the party. Why? Because they smile more, they talk more, they're more social. And that's, that's what we gravitate towards. So people with bad teeth are judged. Why? I mean, if you even look at Hollywood movies, bad people, what do they do? Directors give them bad teeth, missing teeth. That's a good point, yeah. And so, as a matter of fact, at a job interview, two twin sisters, one has a little bit of spaces, actually both of them has a little bit of spaces, but one smiles more. And that can gradiate that through the confidence. And who are we going to hire? Obviously, we're going to hire the one that smiles more because better outlook, better confidence. They look happier. They yeah. look happier. Positive. Positive. Someone that, we, you know, as an employer, maybe we could work with them. You know, as someone who doesn't smile as much. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, kids. Let's just talk about kids for a minute. To the parents watching this, when should you get your kids... I was, straightened. yeah, I mean, that's a good point that Randy asked me. Um, I would say as soon as adult teeth are coming in and they're in what we call mixed dentitions, you know, some adult, some mixed teeth. Like seventh and eighth grade? No, I would say probably around like eight, nine, ten. Oh, really? Earlier than that? Earlier. What we do is uh, we may not like treat the patients right away, but we're going to assess where they are. Maybe they need a little bit of help, you know, to, so that later on as they get become teens, less work needs to be done. So it's always earlier, better earlier to diagnose than later. You say you're setting your, and I'm paraphrasing, but you're setting yourself, your, your kids up for success by straightening their teeth. Absolutely. What do you mean by that? So a lot of times, I mean, nowadays with the bullying going on in schools, you know, you have kids that just not confident with, with their smiles. Well, not just not confident is personal. But if, you, if I can add that little bit into a life that get them, make them look better, happier, I think I do, I'm doing a, a good service for them. So, so you take a person, like, like to parents that are watching this, their, their high school experience will be much more pleasurable if, if they're confident. Yeah, absolutely. If they like their teeth. I mean, it, even if you talk about my experience, when I was in high school, I had a little gaps in, in, in between my teeth. And uh, I was conscious about it. I'll go through my, my, my daily, but if I look back, if I could have my teeth straightened out then, I think my experience would be much different. Much better. Much better, yeah, absolutely. So what are the signs? So obviously if you see your kid, your child has crooked teeth, that's an obvious one. Absolutely. Like overbite, underbite, crooked teeth. Yep, so you're talking about spaces, crooked teeth, overbite, and underbite, absolutely. And if they do it early, yeah, sometimes you by the time they're in high school, their teeth are straight. Yep. And no braces. No braces, and sometimes we even eliminate surgery. Okay. Now, I know you brought photos. We'll go back to the photos. What else are we looking at over there? Yeah, I mean, I have these photos right here. Take a look at it. Okay. I mean, if you look at this pa patient, uh, she, she's actually a professional uh, in her 30s. And uh, she came in. She actually went to three different consultations about her lower spaces. So if you look at this, uh, the, the, the before pictures, I mean, look at the two front teeth on the lower. They're a little crooked but they were deemed to say to be taken out. And look at case like that. Another this. dentist said, we gotta pull out your teeth? We gotta pull out the teeth because they're not salvageable. And I'm looking at a case like this, I mean, she's a pretty young lady. Why do I wanna take out teeth like that? And if you take it out, what do I do with them? I mean, you're talking about dentures, possibly, even maybe a bridge, but then bridge, I have to use multiple anchors for that. It's not the best way to do it. So now we'll look at So when it. you see this like as an Invisalign, you, you teach it to other people. Do you think this is going to be a good one? 
oh yeah, I look at this and my, my lights bright up because I know that I can straighten the teeth out and become and do minimally invasive dentistry. What does that mean? Instead of taking out the tooth, I save it. Instead of putting in dentures, I could put a three unit bridge minimally. So this way I don't have to actually create a whole segment of bridge, a six, seven, eight unit bridge. Much, much less uh, invasive. So now in a short period of time, look at the after photos. I mean, look at her smile. Wow. I couldn't believe it. I can't even believe myself. I mean, this, it's stunning. That's a stunning smile. That's her, true. Yeah, I mean, her smile beforehand, she's a good smile. She has, she has a nice smile. But look at the end. She's like holding back in the before. Oh, absolutely. She's holding back. In fact, I was asking her to smile, and that's the best she can do for me. So now when I look at this, you know, look at the after. Smile like, look at the follow, the, yeah. the, 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 uh, the, the front incisors. Look at the incisors. What do you the mean way, by that, incisors? Look at her front teeth. Front the teeth. Way, the, look at her front teeth. The way I was laying it over the lower lip, that's a That's pretty, by design? That's by design, and we designed this, and that's... Is it on the computer these days? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we designed this pre-treatment. In other words, patient comes in for their consultations. We do the consult. We look at the smiles. We assess it. We can actually design it before we even touch the patient. So look at her smile now. She looks more attractive. Definitely. I mean, you does. told me that because you know it's like when we talk on the phone. I think, well, it's just teeth, you know, because you've told me that on the phone that a smile makes you it's more attractive than a pout. Yeah. And I'm thinking, well, he's a dentist, but then obviously this you could see. Yeah. No, absolutely. I mean, even it's like a new look. Oh, it is. I mean, with the new hairs, the new makeup, and everything about her. I mean, she comes in like this. I actually didn't even recognize her <laughs> from the back. I was like, who is this? And I'm like, wow, that's crazy. Here, here's another patient I want to show you. All right. So she has you, a pretty good looking smile. Yes, yeah, she does. But if you look at her smile, it's a little crooked. But to her, that's, that's a major flaw in her. And she, you know, even if you look at her- So before, she didn't like it at all. She didn't like it They're at all. They're a little like crooked little, on the lower. A little bit, yeah. And in fact, with crooked teeth, as we age, it will get worse and worse. So now in her, because she has something, a, a major event coming up, she want to fix it. Like what? What kind of major event? She's getting married. Okay, okay. She's getting married, and she's getting married in about a year, and she actually planned that ahead. So luckily, you know, we were actually able to help her. The after her. looks good. Yeah, I mean, if you look at the after, look at her smiles. And this is with simple clear tray, which is, in this case, Invisalign. And we're able to straighten her teeth out. I mean, look at her smile line. Smile line's beautiful. Look at her eyes. Her eyes are much more engaging. So now, look at that after photo. That's a really good photo. I love that photo. That, that's actually cases that we just finish. Okay. Now I have something even better to show you. Better than that photo. Better than that. Here we go. Okay, this is, is this the wedding photo? This is the wedding photo. I mean, look at her smile. She's, her, her wedding photo, I mean, that's, that's a million bucks of smiles. Nice. And, and, and her wedding came out beautiful. I mean, that, she's a happy bride. So that's life changing. Let me show you another guy. I, okay, have. okay. Look at this, this patient. All right. This is a, a, a 30 year old male and uh, he came in, you know, she look, at her, look, at, look at his front teeth, they're bucked out. So he didn't like them? He didn't like them. It was actually hard for him to chew a sandwich. He came bite down on a hamburger. So you say his top teeth were pushed forward? They were pushed forward. Okay. And one of his complaints is that I can't really bite down on a sandwich or, 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 or a hamburger for that sake. I mean, you bite down and the meat will pull out. So that's something that, uh, she, you know, he always want to, you know, fix his teeth. So we came, we look at his teeth, and with this, in simple 10 months treatment, we're able to bring his teeth down. Within four months' time, he can already see the result. Now, if you look at the after, <laughs> yeah, look at his after photos. I mean, look at his smiles. He was so happy. I mean, if you look at his smiles, he has actually a little trouble smiling because he doesn't know. He, had to, he, he needs has to learn to smile again. He needs to learn to smile on his own, yeah. So if you look at his before photos, look at him. I mean, he looks, he's a, he's a businessman. But if you look at him with the cr crowd of teeth, it looks like he's just a regular guy. But look after when we finish his case. I mean, he looks more sophisticated. Okay. And now he's actually able, and in fact, he's telling me, you know, my business is booming. And I got more customers and clients. Because it's confidence, you think? I think, yeah, it's more than... it's not just the teeth. It's not. It's the confidence. It's okay. the second effect from straightening the teeth out. And that's, I see that day in, day out. I mean, it's consistency. When we straighten teeth out, patients feel more confident. Their life improve, personal life improve, relationship, whether, whether they're dating, whether they're careers. 
uh, whether they want to, you know, they, en enrich themselves. I mean, it's all from full spectrums of that. Now, let's go look at the before, the retracted view. You say, typically, maybe you could do a lot of like veneering and crowning and maybe some extractions was one of his options. It was actually. He but it's less expensive to do what you did. Absolutely. I mean, if you think about it, if you took crownings or bridges on cases like this. Is that being done? No, it's like not. Like in dentistry, I mean, is it being oh, done? Oh, it's been done all the time. So if you look at a case like this, how many crowns do you have to do? You're talking about maybe six, seven, eight. I mean, that could be very expensive. You're talking about tens and tens of thousands of dollars. With this, it's less expensive. And we we're able to cheat that in a short period of time. I mean, within five, six months, he can already see the results already. This is another case. All right, so look, if you look at this young lady, um, she's a very, very attractive lady already. She, she, you know, her smile, she has this canine that's canted out. Now, if you look at her smile beforehand, it's almost she's trained her lip to cover that, that canted canine. So when we look at her, her, her complaint is actually that canted canine. Like her tooth is just sticking, sticking out. out. Now, growing up, I bet, kids make fun of her. And I, I think she went through all that, you know, high school, middle school, things like that. But, you know, if you look at her, you know, I, I could see the outcome. I could see the outcome, how it couldn't be. So now if you look at the, the before picture, pictures, now there's a lot of things that you could have done. You could have done probably crown, uh, crown and bridges, veneers. You could have done bracket and wires, possibly even extracting two teeth on the top, which was very commonly done years ago. But with us, we don't do any of that. In fact, we kept all her teeth. We strained her teeth out with Invisalign. And look at the after. I mean, Very nice. Look, look at her smile. Yeah. I mean, it's a, co it's a complete change. I yeah. mean, her look, look at her smile lines, her front teeth. It's follow the bottom, bottom lip. And it's a natural smile. In fact, with that, she came to us and she said, you know what, I got a new position with the new companies. I'm very happy with it. And what's the contributions? Contributing it. Maybe her smile, but more importantly, it's the second layer effect, her confidence. Maybe she did much better at her interview. So that, that one little tooth she had into her 20s, and now it's fixed. It's fixed. So like it's an easy fix in a way. Like it if is. you don't like your smile, do something about it. Oh, absolutely. If you don't like your smiles, and I'm sure that there are people out there who doesn't look, those, who, you know, they don't like their smiles, but we can, we can help you. I mean, okay. my goal is to help them. If you have parents who their sons or even their daughter, if you notice like their teeth and they don't smell that much, you know, bring them over. We'll be happy to see that. Because kids don't like to tell their parents sometimes. No. They, their insecurities. I mean, nowadays kids are dealing with a lot of issues. Smile may not be one of them. But if you can do something about their smiles, a lot of those issues may go away. Because you bring up their confidence in, in schools, they might be, uh, become more, more confidence in themselves. Now we live in, a, in an age of social medias. Yeah. If you look at it, it's so broad, broad, broad spectrums. But if you look at some of the pictures out there, is people don't smile. Like Instagram, I see them, yeah, they, oh, they don't smile. They don't smile, and you know, even though they have followers, but what could that change if they smile more? I mean, their followers might even, even explode. In, in well, that you're sense. a dentist. Of course, I respectfully say, you think the smile is the most important thing? Well, absolutely. I mean, in fact, in Cosmopolitans, 87% of patients of uh, polls state that smile is one of the most memorable things they remember. Okay. So now if you look at someone, if you meet someone for the first time, yeah, I mean, we'll look at their face, we'll look at the hair, look at the nose. But what really stick in you is how they smile. Yeah. If they're friendly or not friendly or absolutely. whatever. Absolutely. If you have someone that's friendly, who smiles a lot, I mean, you perceive that friendly, that's uh, trustworthy, things like that. So absolutely, I think, I think smile is very, very important. Good, good. We have time for a couple more photos. So now, look at this young lady. She actually was in law school when she came to me. And one of her chief complaints is that her front tooth, her front, canine, uh, her front uh, incisal had a crown, darker. She was getting married. She, wa she was worried about it. But I look at her, I mean, look at her smile beforehand. It's pretty good. Yeah. But if you look at her right side, the little canted on the laterals. I mean, tilted. The tilted. teeth are tilted a little. Tilted okay. in a little bit. And it's a nice smile. But look at her after. Nice. That's a full smile. And she smiled. And that's, you, when you see that smile, it soothes you. That's a great photo. Oh, it is. But in fact, that's not the best ones. I <laughs> okay. have been one better one. You have a better you. photo. Yeah. 
Look at this. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's uh, the money shot there. That's a money shot. Absolutely. I mean, look at her smile lines. So before the wedding, they go see you, mm -hmm. get some Invisalign. Yes. And now they look better in photos. Oh, they do. We, you know, we should mention, I mean, unlike a traditional orthodontist, which they do a fantastic job, mm -hmm. right? They're the specialist. But uh, you, you, if, if people come to you to straighten their teeth and they need more, you do, I guess, your own root canals there. Yes. You do crown and bridge. You do veneers. You do dental implants. Mm -hmm. So uh, some of these, it's a combination of procedures? Yeah, I mean, a lot of time we have a simple procedure as just whitening. Now whitening makes your teeth look whiter, but whiter teeth makes you look younger. Okay. So sometimes it's as simple as that. But then we get into the more complex cases, depending on what you need. I mean, we could do restore veneer, crown bridges, but one of the most important things we, we do is straighten your teeth with Invisalign. And that takes care of a lot of issues that we have, you know, as far as creating or designing the smiles that we're looking for. All right, what's a number one misconception that you find about Invisalign? Just that you can't, like, if somebody has really, really crooked teeth, you can't help those people? Yeah, so that's one of the misconceptions that, oh, only bracket and wire can treat very difficult cases. In fact, we have a lot of difficult cases that we're treating with Invisalign. But, but more importantly is, because me as a general dentist, I have other options as well. We can, get, we can actually provide veneer crown bridges. We possibly even fill missing teeth with dental implants. Okay. So uh, it's a wide range. and uh, It's all done right there. It's done at the same office. What about sedation? Do you have like a nitrous or a pill yes, we or do. what do you do? Yeah, no. So we actually have a staff, an anesthesiologist on staff that we can actually get the patients in. If somebody's afraid. It's somebody that's so afraid of dentists or have bad experience in the past. So yeah, we can calm the patient down. One of the most important thing is that patient comes in, we don't just rush on treatment. We look at that, I interview them. So a lot of patient comes in, I listen. I listen to their complaints. And a lot of times they might think, oh my God, I need crown bridges, veneers or implants, and it's gonna cost them like thousands, thousands of dollars. Well, not really, because a lot of times they're just simple straightening the teeth. That's all they okay, need. Okay, okay. Yeah. got time for literally, and I'm gonna try to rush you, a couple more photos. Okay, well I have one more to go. Okay. Two more to go, here. Look at this guy. So this is actually a 30-something-year-old uh, a male. He's actually a police officer. Okay. He came to us from a referral. Now, if you look at his smile, uh, he's, you know, he just got off from work. You know, you can see his, his you know, to shuffle a little bit. But look at the transformations that we were able to give him. Once teeth are straightened out, if you look at the front, the beforehand, look at the front two teeth, mm -hmm. super long. If you look at his after photo, look at his smile. But more important, look at his appearance. I mean, he got a new haircut. <laughs> That's absolutely. He has the best phenomenal. smile of any police officer in town now. Absolutely. I mean, he comes in, he got this nice smile and squint. I mean, here, Wendy, here's another one. All right. Let all me right. show you. I mean, look at this case right here. Now you have, patient came in and she thinks that she's gonna need like eight veneers, crown and bridges, what we call instant veneer, instant uh, straightening teeth out. But I have to slow her down because look at her teeth, she has healthy, natural teeth. Why cut all those teeth for veneers and crowns? What we did is we straightened out. Within six months times, we're able to achieve straightened teeth and look at her smiles after, afterward. Nice. I mean, she was so happy. I mean, look, it's, it's like she has to train her, her, herself to have a smile perfectly. So here, I'm gonna show you another one. Look at this one. All right. Here's another patient, same thing. Uh, teeth are crowded. I mean, if you look at her front teeth, one is over, what we call cross bite. Okay. Meaning her laterals, her front teeth are actually behind her lower teeth. Okay. And when she smiles, you can almost see that she's trying to cover her upper leap, uh, upper, upper teeth. And with that- So a little bit of a gap in the front teeth. A little bit she gap. She doesn't like it. She doesn't like it, that's her complaint. Now she came in, same, same thing. She thought that we were a cosmetic dentist and wanted her, us to actually do veneer and crowns. And she said, you know, what can I do, doc? And I look at her and I said, no, we could actually just straighten your teeth out. In fact, we could actually do minimally invasive dentistry, meaning we strain her teeth out and all we do is two small veneers on her teeth. Can you even tell which one? No. It's only the two laterals on the side. Okay. That's it. One more. All, all right, right, one more. All right, one more. Here you go. This is one more. So look at her upper teeth. I mean, if you know, look at her smiles beforehand. Now, this is actually a rare case where teeth are slightly crowded. 
Now, most adults might say, oh, it's not a big deal. But for her, that's a big deal. So if you actually see her after, when, nice. when we straighten her teeth out, what is that happened? Her smile gets a little brighter. Now, she has a brighter smile. So you can see it lights up, even on photos. And mind you, these are the same camera that we use to take the photos. Well, you use some whitening, though, as well. We did. We did use some whitening. But more importantly is look at her smile lines. Her front teeth, the way it's following yeah, they fit her mouth perfectly. Perfectly. It seems like. And, so, and you can even see the confidence in that, in the confidence, the personalities from that second photos. So everybody's looking for a quick fix, right? You yeah. know, fast. You know, get me veneers, instant orthodontics, as mm -hmm. you mentioned. Even though that, and that's a lot more money. Yes. But, but I'm picking up on, and people need to know it's a real interview. I'm not siding with you on this interview. I'm just asking the question, but it sounds like you're saving them money. I'm saving them this money. This option, but a lot of people are in such a hurry, maybe they don't pick Invisalign. Absolutely. Now, people think Invisalign, they think right away is orthodontics. Orthodontics, they think is what? There's two objections. Time. Because it's two years, right? No, it's actually less than that. Most of our cases finish about a year or so. Okay. 10 months to 12 but months. But within like four and six months on these, they're already getting straight teeth. Yeah. I mean, as they You're see You're just the holding process. them there Correct. with the retainers for about a year. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So that's what we do. I mean, we're holding them teeth. And then from that point on, we can we have options to enhance their smile better, more. Okay. So what that means is whether it's whitening, maybe they want to recontour the teeth a little bit. Maybe they don't like the shape of the teeth. And that's when we actually can go in and tailor it minimally invasive dentistry to that. So instead of just cutting all the teeth for veneers and crowns, that's what we can okay. do. Kids, uh, l last moment on kids, and we're literally a minute left. But to parents, final message to parents. Yeah. that their child is maybe seventh grade, eighth grade, or even in high school, what yeah. do you say to them? Well, kids, seventh, eighth grade, absolutely bring them early. The earlier the treatment is better. So when we, what we do is we'll have the patient come in, we'll do a diagnosis, check up, everything else, and I actually give them a timeline where, where they actually should start. Doesn't that need to be right away? It could be a year or two years later. But most important is have a checkup have they looked at it? Are you less expensive than an orthodontist? Am I allowed to ask that question? Absolutely. I mean, I'm good. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we are. Well, I mean, we are definitely less uh, because I see the value, not because we want to see patients. I see the values and the passions, and I want to pass on to our patients. Okay, good. Yeah. I want to thank you for coming to the show. Good thank stuff. Thank you so much. Good stuff. Thank you. Okay. So if somebody wants to know more, they go to your website, make an appointment. Do you, you offer free consultations? Yes. They get to see you? We do. We, if they get to see me. We okay. do consultations. We have two dedicated financial uh, personnel that are actually trying to uh, make this worth, worth a while for you. Okay, good. So whether it be insurance, uh, payment plan options with third parties, we can make this affordable for you. All right. I want to thank you, Dr. Liao, for coming on the program. Thank you. Good stuff. Thank you. You've been watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez the authority on health issues.